Crazy Rich Asians is a landmark movie for one very big reason. It's the first all-Asian Hollywood film in 25 years. Featuring an entirely Asian ensemble cast, the romantic comedy comes at a time when opportunities for Asian actors in Hollywood are extremely limited. Only 5% of characters in 2017's top 100 grossing films were of Asian descent, with just four of the movies featuring an Asian lead character. And 37 of those top 100 movies had no Asian actors at all. I would say, you know, we are, we are normally called in to be either the gangsters or the, or the food delivery guys or, you know, uh, Asian women are often called in to be either the prostitutes or, uh, you know, the tiger moms. And it sort, of, it sort of exists on these two poles. But it's really interesting, like most of the roles tend to be sort of on the periphery of the story. They tend, we tend to be sort of the information givers. I'm envious of the privilege that a lot of white people have or that all white people have when they go see a movie or turn on their TV set, that they will always be able to see themselves represented in, in the stories they're watching. Whitewashing continues to be a major problem in Hollywood, from Scarlett Johansson in Ghost in the Shell to Tilda Swinton in Doctor Strange. Major studios continue to cast high-profile white actors playing Asian roles. But the backlash those castings received, along with the rise of the Oscars So White hashtag, shows a groundswell of support for greater diversity on our screens. The absence of Asians, the continued invisibility of Asians, becomes increasingly um, unacceptable because we are we're no longer going to sit on the way on on the sidelines. You know, uh, these are our stories, and I am I'm not a supporting player in in the story of my life. You know, and uh, and, and we're demanding to see our stories out there. The hope is that similar to Black Panther, the success of Crazy Rich Asians at the box office would pave the way for more opportunities for Asian actors in Hollywood. Some positive steps have been taken recently, such as Kelly Marie Tran's appearance in Star Wars The Last Jedi. Disney have also announced a live-action adaptation of Mulan is in the works that will have a Chinese actress in the lead role. And for the Asian American community, the hope is that going forward there will be more opportunities to have their experiences depicted on screen. Asians, for one reason or another, still continue to be the perpetual foreigner, you know, the 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 outsider, the other, and uh, I think so many Asian Americans are, are hungry for stories where uh, it's just about their experience, you know, it doesn't have to be because they're Asian. I think that the demographics of America have, have absolutely changed. I think there are more Asian actors than ever before, and I think that hopefully movies like, like this will, will provide the groundswell of support and I'm seeing it, a lot of, uh, like the Asian American community is so jazzed. And um, hopefully if the movie is successful, more movies with Asian American leads will be, um, will be produced.